Welcome to the Al Jazari channel, where you will learn capacity planning as a core operations management activity. In this video capacity alternative evaluation using the breakeven analysis method is explained. An organization needs to examine alternatives for future capacity from a number of different perspectives. Most obvious are economic considerations. Will an alternative be economically feasible? How much will it cost? How soon can we have it? What will operating and maintenance costs be? What will its useful life be? Will it be compatible with present personnel and present operations? A number of techniques are useful for evaluating capacity alternatives from an economic standpoint. Some of the more common are cost, volume analysis, financial analysis, decision theory, and waiting line analysis. Cost, volume analysis is described in this video. Cost, volume analysis focuses on relationships between cost, revenue, and volume of output. The purpose of cost, volume analysis is to estimate the income of an organization under different operating conditions. It is particularly useful as a tool for comparing capacity alternatives. The use of this technique requires the identification of all costs related to the production of a given product. These costs are designated as fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs tend to remain constant regardless of the output volume. Examples include rental costs, property taxes, equipment costs, heating and cooling expenses, and certain administrative costs. While the variable costs vary directly with the output volume, the major components of variable costs are generally materials and labor costs. The total cost associated with a given volume of output is equal to the sum of the fixed cost and the total variable cost. That can be mathematically expressed by this equation Tc equals Fc plus Vc, where Tc is the total cost. FC is the fixed cost and VC is the total variable cost. The total variable cost can be calculated by this formula. VC equals Q multiplied by V, where Q is the output volume and V is the variable cost per unit. The shown figure shows the relationship between the output volume and the fixed costs, the total variable costs, and the total costs. Total revenue will have a linear relationship to output, as illustrated in this figure. The total revenue associated with a given quantity of output is the multiplication of this quantity by the revenue per unit and can be expressed mathematically as follow. TR equals R multiplied by Q. Where R is the revenue per unit. The relationship between profit and volume of output is illustrated where the profit is the difference between total revenue and total cost. The volume at which total cost and total revenue are equal is referred to as the breakeven point that is denoted by BEP. When volume is less than the breakeven point, there is a loss. When volume is greater than the breakeven point, there is a profit. Total profit can be computed using the formula. P equals T, R minus T, C equals R multiplied by Q minus, F, C plus V multiplied by Q. Rearranging terms, we have P equals Q multiplied by, R minus V, minus F, C. The difference between revenue per unit and variable cost per unit is known as the contribution margin. The required volume needed to generate a specified profit is defined by this formula. Q equals P plus F C divided by R minus V. A special case of this is the volume of output needed for total revenue to equal total cost or zero profit. This is the breakeven point, computed using the formula. Different alternatives can be compared by plotting the profit lines for the alternatives, as shown where the concept of indifference point is illustrated. At this point, the decision maker would be indifferent between two competing alternatives. In the illustrated figure, a quantity less than the point of indifference would favor choosing alternative B because its profit is higher in that range, while a quantity greater than the point of indifference would favor choosing alternative A. Example 
The owner of Old Fashioned Berry Pies is planning to add a new line of pies, which will require leasing new equipment for a monthly payment of $6,000. Variable costs would be $2 per pie, and pies would retail for $7 each. Solve the following questions. A. How many pies must be sold in order to break even? B. What would the profit or loss be if 1,000 pies are made and sold in a month? C. How many pies must be sold to realize a profit of $4,000? D. If 2,000 pies can be sold and a profit target is $5,000, what price should be charged per pie? The givens are fixed cost, FC is $6,000, the unit variable cost, V, equals $2 per pie, and the revenue per unit, R, equals $7 per pie. The first question is to find the break-even point or QBEP, which can be found by solving this formula. So, QBEP equals 6,000 divided by 7 minus 2 equals 1,200. So, the answer is QBEP equal to 1,200 pies. The second question is to find the profit or loss if Q equals 1,000 pies. To do this use this formula. Substituting by the given values, P equals 1,000 multiplied by 7 minus 2 all minus 6,000. This equals negative 1,000. This negative sign means loss. So, if they produce and sold 1,000 pies monthly, they will face a loss of $1,000. The third question is to find the quantity to make a profit of $4,000. To do this simple substitute in this formula. Q equals 4,000 plus 6,000 divided by 7 minus 2 equals 2,000 pies. So, to make a $4,000 profit, 2,000 pies would be produced and sold. The last question is to find the pie price or the revenue per pie, R, if they sold 2,000 pies and aim to obtain a $5,000 profit. Using the same formula and substitute by the given values. 2,000 equals 5,000 plus 6,000 divided by R minus 2. Solving this for our results in R equals $7.50. So, to sell 2,000 pies and obtain a $5,000 profit, the pie price has to be $7.50. In this video, evaluating alternatives using the break-even analysis was explained using an example. In the next video, more related problems will be solved so stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, so press like and share it. See you again.